let x is equal to cos theta taking the derivative of both sides dx is equal to minus sin theta d theta. Now when x is equal to 1 which is the upper limit of the given integral cos theta is equal to 1 implies theta is equal to 0 and when x is equal to 0 which is the lower limit of the given integral theta is equal to pi upon 2. Therefore the given integral can be written as integral the limits pi upon 2 to 0 square root of 1 minus cos theta divided by 1 plus cos theta times minus sine theta d theta. Now the minus sign in the integrand can be used to reverse the limits which now go from 0 to pi upon 2. 1 minus cos theta can be replaced with 2 sine square theta upon 2 and 1 plus cos theta can be replaced with 2 cos square theta upon 2. And finally sine theta can be replaced with 2 sine theta upon 2 times cos theta upon 2. This simplifies to integral 0 to pi upon 2 2 sine square theta upon 2 d theta which can be written as integral 0 to pi upon 2 1 minus cos theta d theta. The value of the integral is theta minus sine theta and the limits are from 0 to pi upon 2. This is equal to pi upon 2 minus 1 which is the required answer.